problem is you're still in bed. It's time to go fishing, don't you remember? <sighs> well, uh, wake up, Alfred. Do you have any idea what time it is? I know exactly what time it is. It's time to go fishing. Milo, can you please try to relax? I'm sure the fish can wait a little longer. Who can relax when we're talking about fishing? The shining sun, the cool water, the tasty snacks. Now let's go, go, go! Mm. Come on, you guys! Hurry it up! Uh, huh? Whoa. Milo, what is it? You see what I see? Mr. Remy? Oh, hello, Alfred. What's going on? Oh, uh, you mean this. It's nothing, no big deal. It's just, uh, I've made a huge discovery. Discovery? What kind of discovery? Uh, did I say discovery? Uh, what I meant was that I found something and it's <gasps> really, really important. <laughs> Can we get through? I've got some fish to catch. Uh, no. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This whole area is to be considered out of bounds. And top secret. But we're going fishing. Not today. Come on, Mr. Emmy. You can trust us. What's the secret? You want to know? Yes. You really want to know? Yes. Well, I can't tell you. What? What? No! Sorry, I wish I could tell you. I really do. But right now, all I can say is, it's the greatest secret Nolly Woods has ever seen! And I'm the one who discovered it! Me! Oh, me! I've got to stop doing that. Now, run along. I have a lot of work to do before my tree expert gets here. Tree expert? <laughs> Forget I said that. Now, shoot! What is going on? And why do you think he needs to see a tree expert? Who cares? Are you forgetting the real tragedy here? We can't go fishing. Don't worry, Milo. We'll still go fishing. Great! But first, we've got to figure out what's going on. This is serious, mysterious. So. What's our first move? What is Mr. Remy hiding? We've got to find out what it is. All I need to do is cast this delicious sandwich out and we'll have a perfect diversion. Oh, hey, pastrami! Let's go! Wait for me! What happened? My sandwich! Come on! Pastrami! Forget the sandwich! We've got work to do! Wow! What is this? Milo, take a picture. So this is what Mr. Remy discovered. They look like fur-growing trees. Fur-growing trees? I don't believe it. And look, it only grows up so high. What do you think, Milo? I'm still thinking about my sandwich. Your sandwich? You have a whole knapsack full of food. You're right. There must be something in here to cheer me up. Guys, what would cause a tree to grow fur? Good question. I'm going to take a sample. Clue number one. Strange fur-looking substance. Banana? No. Pickle? No. It must be a new kind of moss Either. or something. I'm not so sure. But the proof is in the pudding. You have pudding? Perfect! Huh? What's that? Is someone back there? Quick, hide! Hmm. Ah! Oh. What's this? 
Spicy. It was for a good cause, Milo. <laughs> my lunch. It was the best lunch of my whole entire life. I made it myself. Ouch! These roots hurt. Hey, look at this. There are some on these roots, too. Weird. Do you think the tree is sick or something, and that's why they're growing this fungus? I don't know. The roots are covered in gouge marks. That looks like clue number two to me. Hmm. Hey! You over there! My banana! Come on, Milo! Back to headquarters! <laughs> Say pastrami! I can tell, this sample really is fur. Darn bug bites. I've been reading everything I can, and I haven't found anything about a tree that grows fur. Could this really be the first? Let's look at the photos. Maybe there's a clue there. Here's the first fur-covered trees. This one shows that the fur only grows up so high. This one is of the roots with the gouge marks on them. <laughs> How did that get in there? And this is the last one. It's the one I took of Mr. Remy. Wait, 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 go back, go back. Can you get a closer look at the background here? Look at that. All the trees with the fur on them lead down to the lake. And so how does this help me get my lunch back? It's not about your lunch. And will you stop scratching? You're bugging me. It's a clue. Isn't it, Alfred? Mm. I think so. Mm. Huh! I found our third clue, then. But how do these clues link together? Oh, ugh, this is just too itchy! Uh, 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 that's a lot better. Oh, guys! Wait a minute, Milo! You just gave me an idea! I think I figured it out! Move along, there's nothing to see here. Also, once I'm famous, you will still be allowed to talk to me. Excuse us, coming oh. through. Is that my tree expert? Mm -hmm. Finally. Oh, it's you, huh? Eh? My lunch. My lunch. <gasps> no! Didn't I tell you to stay away from here until this new type of tree is identified? That's just it. We've identified it. Say what? You're joking, right? I don't believe we'll it. We'll just show you. Uh, come on. Here we are. I can assure you that Mr. Remy is going to be surprised. Look at these trees. There's fur on the trees, but the trees didn't grow it. Yeah, right. It's simply moose fur. A uh, moose? It's molting season for moose. They're losing their winter fur. When they get an itch, the moose rub up against the trees to scratch themselves. When they scratch this time, they lost some of their molting fur. Yeah, some wild animals use trees as a kind of scratching post, especially in the spring when they shed their fur. When they get an itch, they rub against the tree to scratch it. The tree acts like a comb. And their hooves scrape the bark off the roots. Right. The trees along the path to the lake are the only ones with fur on them. That's because it's so hot today. And everyone knows that when moose get hot, they head to the lake to cool off. Nonsense. I still don't believe you. Take a look. Oh, well. Fun while it lasted. It was all a big misunderstanding. Oh. What? Where are they all going? Of course, we do have another wonder in Gnarly Woods. A super sleuth. <laughs> the 
sorry I'm late. Who are you? I'm the tree expert. The expert? He's right here in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Remy thought he had discovered a new type of tree, but Alfred wasn't convinced. It didn't take him long to find out that the moose were using the trees like a comb to take off molting fur before bathing in the cool lake.